reached 2,820 meters above sea level. And this is the first view of the mountain that we've now gotten. I mean, look at that. Is that not unbelievable? So all of us have stopped here on day two of our climb and journey up Kilimanjaro. And uh, we're all just gazing at that beautiful mountain. And uh, hopefully we'll be standing at the summit to Uhuru Peak on the 18th of July, Nelson Mandela Day. Well, I mean, day two started out quite nicely. It's been a warm day. The evenings seem to be very, very cold. But the day is hot and we've been walking through the rainforests again. But I think it's now going to stop and we're going to be moving out into the open now. And that's going to be our view for uh, very much so a huge part of this journey. Looking behind me, and I'm going to ask my cameraman just to get a shot. Look at this. Look at these porters. They're absolutely unbelievable. You can't believe them. I mean, we're struggling and walking and trying to just carry our backpacks and our own body weight. But these guys are carrying tents, kitchens, uh, our bags that are weighing in excess of 20 kilograms. So you can only imagine what they are going through. So it's, it's an unbelievable experience so far. I just wanted to share this with you. We'll talk to you again on the rest of the journey. But there she is. That's the mountain that we are hoping to summit. Well, our journey on day two has brought us above the clouds. Is that not one of the most magnificent things you've ever seen? We're standing here 3,400 meters above sea level, and it's just been an absolutely magnificent walk so far. A very slow one to get to this point, but to be able to see what's behind us is, I think that's breathtaking and worth it. That much I can tell you. Uh, I think the camp that we're going to is around about 3,700 meters, so we've got a way to go, but we've been doing it in really good time and very, very slow slowly that's the rule here pole pole there's no other rule on this mountain except you've got to do everything slowly well joining me now is Richard Mabaso who is the man that put this all together and you know Richard it, I would I know how I'm feeling right now but you're the guy that got us to do all of this so how are you feeling well Leanne first of all um, when you say um, 3,400 that means you're above halfway yeah. already wow. so okay for me, that's always a big motivation to see that uh, passing half mark um, or halfway mark with, you know, no incidents reported. People are still feeling stronger. You know, they, they're pushing themselves, which is great. But in terms of feeling, it is my birthday today, you know, and exactly. for the past four years, I've been celebrating it on this mountain. And it's very special because it's for the big man. I think um, Madiba taught us one thing t that... Um, we must put other people first. So for the past four years, I've been trying to put the cause above anything, above even myself. So I'm very excited and to, I mean, to be with you here. I mean, I've always, I think since um, primary school, high school, <laughs> I've seen you on TV and then I never thought you move out of that screen, you know, so it, it's brilliant. And uh, I think, yeah, they, they I mean, the mountain is just here yeah, and yeah. the clouds, like you said, it's, it's amazing. And, yeah. and, and when you present to people, when you, you present this track, you are unable to actually define the details that yeah. it's not about the summit only, but it's about enjoying the view. Like Madiba said uh, in his long walk to Freedom Court that, you know, you have to stop for a moment, appreciate the view. And that's what we've been doing. And I'm really excited. Yeah, I think that's what the best part about this is. Every single step, every single day is a journey. I mean, it's not it's not just about the summit because, I mean, we, we looked early and actually as I stand here, I'm looking at the summit right now in front of me. But what I, what I see behind me is just as breathtaking as yeah. what's in front of me. So, I mean, what I've done is great, but what I'm about to do is even better. And, you know, it makes you think very, very differently. And I think it's just such a nice it, there's so many lessons that are being learned here daily by me and everyone else that's a part of it absolutely for me uh, i was talking to a couple of guys earlier to say, uh, and i said that for me kilimanjaro it, it it instills discipline it's about leadership if you want to be the, a, a leader you need to be able to listen you need to be able to be disciplined yourself so you know the pole pole it might sound like a poem i mean you heard a lot of music yesterday at the gate it yes. was all about pole pole but they're trying to instill one thing in our minds that to get to the top we have to take it slowly so we know that you know from the time we boarded the plane from South Africa people wanted to be on top of Kili but I'm sure that from yesterday they are starting to appreciate the journey itself that it's not about getting to the top but it's about getting to the top in a right way so that we all get there in good shape yeah and that's how we're feeling right now so Richard Pole Pole Thank you. Let's do it. Let's keep on going. All right, we've got a way to go, but I needed to show you these clouds. Have a look behind me. Let's, uh, let's leave you with this magnificent shot of us standing, I feel like, almost in heaven. 